Hello everybody and welcome to Wind Peaks. Yes, today we are taking a look at this incredibly cute and charming finding game, which admittedly is not a genre I delve into that often, by the developers over at Actoon Studios. Uh, yes, so first of all, this game has got such a cute art style. Honestly, I love it. Look at it. It's cute. It's really cute. Don't know why, it reminds me of a Netflix series called uh, Hilda, which if you haven't seen, take a look at it. But this this is a very, very cute, cute looking game. So, as we normally do, we look into the options first. Very basic, don't really know what to expect. It's, it's a treasure hunting game, effectively, so you don't need much more, do you? But I do like, actually, this is one I do like. Ambient is separate to musical effects, and I bloody love that. And I don't know why. Anyway, let's go into a new game. And just have a look at what this game delivers. So here we are. Yes. It is completely mouse driven. We can zoom in and out. And we can uh, move around a room with left click. It's very basic. But look at it. Look at how cute this is. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I love it. Wait a minute. There we go. We can make them scream and giggle. Wait a minute. Lovely. Anyway, so we're clicking here. What do we got? We got a map. Perfect. And now we need a spanner. I have a feeling that I am going to somehow miss it. But uh, is it just red stuff that we can click on? I presume so. So let's see if there's anything else red. Okay, there is her, but apparently that is not it. Oh, there it is. Got it. Fantastic. <laughs> Very nice. And there we go. Welcome to Wind Peaks. I will say, God, it's such a nice art style. I love it. It's silly, but I do. Oh, dear. There we are. What do we got there, then? We got a door. This is going well. Uh, right, what else have we got? We've got more campers. And... Okay, that's just a different voice uh, for males and females. Fair enough. For for the kids. Right, what do we got here? Is that... It looks like a key, but it doesn't look like the key. Okay, we're looking for, like, a big old one. Uh, there's a stopwatch. Okay, there's a lot of stuff we don't need. A lot of stuff we don't need. Oh, there we go, we got the shovel. Accidentally. My favourite kind of accidental finding. Right. Um, can we open up all the windows? Ah, yes, we've got the bottle. Lovely. Um, wonderful. Okay. And we can open that. Lovely. I love the amount of stuff you can click on. Like, it's not everything, but uh, it is good. Also, something I do like. Uh, I like how the characters actually do walk around. We're not just looking at a static image. Which I think would be the case in a lot of games of this nature. It would be... I, I dare not say the term half fast. I would not say that. But, um... They, they would not put the effort in to have characters moving and so on. They would have it be very... You know, static. Uh, let's have a look then. Come on. Oh dear. There should be an X somewhere. Which I feel should be one of the most obvious ones to find. Um, Because it's red. Let's see. It's probably hidden behind something, isn't it? See, we've got a key there, but it's just not the one we need. Okay. Let's see. Oh dear. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, okay, that's part of the bus. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dear, I'm doing so badly already. Right, let's just see if there's anything else red to click on. Uh, Yeah, we've got all that. Oh, wait a minute. There we go, there's the X. Fantastic. So I do need to remember to move aside the bushes and stuff. Okay, okay, let's have a look through. Oh, wait a minute. No, nothing by the rocks. Okay. Uh, can we click on the mushrooms? No. What else have we got then? Starting to look like I'm running out of places. Oh, wait a minute. There's one. Okay, we've got a footprint. <laughs> There's possible Sasquatch about, but that's it. Um, blimey, where the hell is that key? Oh, dear. I feel, I feel as if 
That one just keeps taunting me. I keep seeing it out of the corner of my eyes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right. What do we got? Is it in a tree? I have no idea why it would, but it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, come on. I'm not at the point of just randomly clicking on the screen yet, though, so that is good. Uh, there's another banana. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, damn. Wait a minute. I've just realised we won't, we won't be able to use the stuff we pick up. That might be wishful thinking. Right. Come on. I will say, I do like the ambient music. I like the use of ambient sounds. It's not used that often in games. Or at least games like this. So I do, I do like it. I found it! I found it! There we go! That's it! It was hidden behind a tree! Blimey! That took way longer than I thought it would, but there we go! And you even get a bit of a story. You get the items actually mattering, and then you get a little animation. Which is very adorable, I must say. I like that. I'm a fan. Uh, but there we go. I did not expect it to get to this point as quickly as it has done. <laughs> Where are my clothes? Okay. Fair enough. So we need to find all of his clothes. And that is the treasure hunt. Oh, okay. I do like that the little hunty treasure things all have a theme to them. Whether it be as basic as... There we go. We found a shoe. Uh, whether it be as basic as the idea of... There's his trousers. Um, just like trying to find buried treasure. Or even... I've lost my pants. Can you help me find them? I don't know. I find that to be pretty interesting as a concept. There's a crash plane. Blimey. Blimey. Uh, can we open up the tent flaps? Yes, we can. But there is nothing there. You Sorry, you okay there, man? You okay? Yeah, he's fine. Right. Okay. <laughs> what else have we got? Can we open up that? Or the windows? No. Oh, wait a minute. Is that something? No, it isn't. Okay. Let's see if there's any red to click on. Anything red. Oh, wait. There's the shirt. Lovely. It, it merged in quite well with the background. Uh, right. We're, we're doing this much quicker than the last one, at least. I feel like I'm sort of getting my head around the sort of things they're looking for. There's the underwear. Now we just need to find one more shoe. This... May take a while. <laughs> oh no. Come on. I'm looking for a shoe. Help me out here. Uh, let's see. Let's have a look. It's going to be somewhere really obvious. That's... Oh dear. Oh no. Right. On the upside though, I haven't seen that many red areas to click on. So... It may be fairly obvious. I'm just looking for something that's sort of greyish with a white tip. Uh, no, that's not it. That's not it. That's no snozberry. Uh, right. What have we got? Come on. Maybe in a plane wreckage. No. No, it isn't there. Okay. However, I sort of have to wonder if that's why he's lying naked. Because he got in a plane crash. Right. Come on. Okay. Okay, let's try and think about this a bit more logically. It won't be in the water, will it? No, I'm pretty sure we can say it won't be in the water. Um. Oh, no. Wait a minute. I thought I saw something around here. No, no. I think I might not have. Oh, what a shame. And ever since the last one, I'm now just looking in every tree. Trying to find out if it's just like in a branch or something. Um, it doesn't appear to be. Okay. Okay, where where would it be? See, I've probably scrolled over it now and people in the comments are going to be saying, oh, I was there, you idiot. Which they would be right for doing so. There we are. There we go. Here it is. There we go. That is the last shoe. Woo! And now for our little animation. 
Oh, wonderful. There we go. <laughs> Fantastic. That, that was moderately successful. There's a dinosaur. A very adorable dinosaur. Look at that. <laughs> Fantastic. So there we go. Wonderful. Wonderful. Next one, preparing for the trip. So we need apple, backpack, banana, camera. Uh, no idea what that is. Oh, I maybe a scuba tank. And I have no idea what that is. Because uh, I can't zoom in on those options. That image is so tiny. I have no idea what it could be. Uh, and a pair of flippers. Lovely. So first of all, let's open up the tent flaps. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, what else have we got? We've got s'mores. Oh, there's the scuba tank. Nice and easy. Uh, we can open up that. We can open up that, but we can't see what's there. Uh, there's a bottle of gas. Uh, what else? Come on. Come on. We were doing so well. Uh, camper, been killed by an axeman. This is, this is fine. Yeah. This is going well. Uh, what else have we got? Ah, oh, there's a banana. No, it's not a full banana. And you know you gotta have a full banana. There is no, nothing's, nothing's better. It's gotta be a full banana. Right. Oh, no. Uh, there's a lighter. Again, it's not what we need. Oh, dear. Again, I'm just... I'm looking. I'm looking. I can't, I can't find a full banana. Or an apple. Uh, what's that there? Oh, it was a sleeping bag. Okay. Well, on the upside, we have found one which I thought it would be the hardest to get. <laughs> so, wonderful. Bravo. Ah, oh, there's a full banana. Lovely. We got a banana. Right. Next up. Let's see if we can find the camera. Uh, or an apple. I will take either. Uh, let's have a look around. Come on. Uh, there is another banana. That's not what we need, damn it. Come on. Oh, dear. We've got to find it somewhere. Right. There's the camera. Wonderful. Um, now, it's just the backpack, the apple, and the scuba gear. Or, or the uh, flippers. Right. Come on. I've just got to go through it very slowly and methodically. Trying to find it. Oh, dear. I don't mind, though. It is very, very pretty. It's a very pretty game. So the artwork really does keep interest. There are a lot of nice little details as well to look through. Right. Come on. Come on, lads. Is there an apple? No. Help me out here. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, again, though, I feel like there's going to be someone in the comments saying, You've already found it. You missed it. And they will be absolutely right. Oh, there we go. We found a backpack by accident. It was leaning against a rock. Okay. I didn't expect it to be there. Um, okay. Where, where's the apple and the flippers then? Those are, those are my next ones. Um, I'm guessing for the apple, I'm going to have to look where the sort of reddish earth is. going to guess it's around there somewhere. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Also, anywhere with leaves. I might spot the leaf before I spot the apple. Um, come on. Come on, lads. Help me out. No, not there. Oh, no. I'm not doing well, am I, with this? At least it's not timed. If it was timed, I would be dreadful. I would be doing so badly. Right. Help me out. Come on. Ah, there's the apple. It was hiding in a bloody tree. There we go. Wonderful. And now I'm guessing the flippers are going to be hidden in one of the yellower looking trees. So that's that's the next place to look for the flippers. Um, so I'm just, I'm effectively looking for a, a yellowish tree, I think, with some very weird looking branches. I'm, I'm sure that's not going to be how it works, but who knows? Who knows? Because that, that looks kind of flippery. In fact, a lot of them do. Um, 
Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, they've got to be around here somewhere. Oh no. Oh gosh, I didn't even consider that the flippers might be like hidden on a tree as a branch or uh, leaves. Hell, there they are. They were hidden behind a rock. I don't know why that took me so long, but there we go. And look, now they're all ready to go on an adventure and such like. Wonderful. Wonderful. That that took me way longer than it should have. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, there we go. There's the key from earlier as well. What are we actually looking for this time? Tell you what, we're looking for a flashlight, a boot, a quill, a hat, the car keys this time, not the actual key, a bucking bronco, a radio, and a woodpecker. It looks like a woodpecker. It might not be. It might be something else. Um, and now it's dark, so <laughs> that is that is not going to go well. But look at the glowy things. This is very, very pretty. Um... Tell you what, let's see if we can find at least one thing for it. Let's see if we can find at least one thing. Okay, I'm guessing we'll need the key before we can get into there then. Uh, let's have a look. Just for anything. There's a boot. It's not the right boot. It's boot time that we found a boot. Right, come on. There we go, we got a radio. That was surprisingly easy. And now all of the others will be bastards. There's a quill. Again, lovely. <laughs> nice and easy. Uh, there's the car keys, which means, hopefully, can we open up the car? We can! Oh, that's a nice little detail. I like that. I do like it. Okay. Um, that is a nice... I, I actually didn't expect that to work for some reason. I just thought that if you picked it up, it would mean next to nothing. Right. Again, more boots, a regular key. Uh, well, there's some bushes or a rock we can move out of the way. I just saw the little red icon come up. Okay. Um, what else then? I mean, we, we could try and find the little bird. That shouldn't be too bad. Ah, there's the Bronco. Come on. There we go. Lovely. Uh, I feel like we should have found the flashlight. The torch before anything else. Um... <laughs> I, it's kind of worrying that we haven't found it yet. Ah, there it is. Okay. So I'm guessing... Yes, we can use it. Okay. So that means the, there, there is a bird. Uh, where is it? Somewhere up here. Yeah, let's shine a torch on you. And see if you're the right bird. No, you are not. You are not, but... Oh, look at the shadows it creates. That's really cool. I really do like this. Okay. This is going to be so damn useful. Okay. We should have picked this up first. I, I just didn't see it. Uh, let's have a look then. Let's have a look. So we need the hat. That is a certain. Can we... Uh... Okay. Wait, is that the boot? No, we need the other boot. Okay. We, we, need, we need the matching one. Uh, let's have a look then. Let's have a look. I will say a lot of this is like combing through the trees to make sure there's not like something behind it. A lot of the time there is. Also, look what happens to the tree when you... The animation gets weirdly affected when you shine a torch on it. That is uh, maybe something they'll want to have a look at. Um, <clears throat> okay. Let's see then. Let's have a look for... I don't know. The boot or the hat, I feel, will be the easiest. Ah, wait a minute. Yes, okay. The hat was behind a bird. I don't know how I didn't see that earlier. Okay, lovely. Uh, but now we still need the boot and the other bird. So that's probably going to take a little bit of time. Right, let's just see if we can find it. There are so many boots. It's just that none of them are the ones that we, uh, we need. There we go. We found a boot. Okay. It wasn't where I thought it would be, but it was exactly where I expected. In the middle of nowhere. 
Right, so that means that the last thing we've got to do is find a bird. And I presume that means we need a torch on because there are a few birds in the scene. There's one there. There's one, uh, wait a minute, up here, uh, somewhere, there we go. So now I just need to find one more bird. And hopefully it'll be rules of threes and the last one I find will be the one that I actually need. But knowing my luck, it probably won't be that easy. So let's have a look around. Okay, okay. So at this point, uh, I've been playing this game for almost an hour. I finally found the little chicken. There he is, the little woodpecker. Bloody hell. That took way, way too long. Damn. And there we go. Lovely. Well, there we are. There we go. And this gives us even more Bigfoot stuff. Which is going to be very interesting going forward. But we will not be looking at that today. Or at least, not today, I don't think. I may do. But I won't show it on video because I'm not going to do much more than this. But there we are, everybody. Look. Bigfoot's afoot. And I believe we're going to need a key to get past that gate to actually enter Wind Peaks. Aww. The Wind Peaks gates, there we go. I mean, it's not as if we could just drive around or drive through one of those fence posts. Because we are decent people. Anyway, there we go. So, more items to collect and so on and so on. Right, so there we go, everybody. I'm going to end it there for today. This has been Wind Peaks. We got through uh, five of the ten possible levels. This is a relatively short game. But I will not begrudge it that, for it costs only five quid. And honestly... The amount of effort that's gone into the art style, the presentation, and in many elements of the gameplay, as basic as it is, there is thought behind it, and there is a lot more depth than the usual, just find a thing. Uh, but no, I, I love this game. This is absolutely delightful. Please consider picking it up. Uh, there we go. This is Wind Peaks. It was developed by Actune Studios. Please consider picking it up. There we go. I'm going to end it there for today, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Toggle Jam. This has been Wind Peaks. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And if you didn't enjoy this video, well, there's always a button for you as well. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching once again, and I'll see you next time.